This is Survivor Nate and Lucian that is going to take place today. We're on our way to our destination where we will survive for one day. Not even a night, one day. And then we're coming home. We have limited supplies. We have about two and a half gallons of water and enough food to feed us for a week. So hopefully we'll be able to make it through the day. Once we get to our destination, we'll be making a traditional shelter and traditional campfires. Firebug. Firebug. With a firebug. <laughs> and flint still. And a lighter. <laughs> Survivor Nate is about to attempt to push a log out of the way using his truck. His only means of transportation. Let's see how this goes. This apparently did not go so well. I don't know. I don't see why you couldn't get through here. And here comes bad idea number two. We weren't able to push the log out of the way, so now he's going to get to attempt. I'm not real sure what he's going to attempt, but let's watch and find out. Keep in mind, folks. Those are the tire tracks that his truck has already made. So we're not really sure how this is going to go. Oh no. It appears that Survivor Nate is now high centered. And we are royally screwed. Well, let's hear a narration from this Survivor Nate. Figure something out. Otherwise, we're uh, pretty much. But who these butt tracks? No, that's near my hog. This is Survivor Man Lucian as he is jacking up the back of the truck so we can put something under it to brace it so we can get out of this goulash that we have fell into as you can see that and this just goes to show you that you never know when you're going to be in a situation where you're stranded and you have to use your survivor techniques to get through situations that you never know that you're going to experience. Luckily we do have the tools we need and the knowledge we need to survive through this situation. I would not recommend that you try any of these techniques at home. We have now piled all kind of limbs and shit up under the tire of this truck and also I have dug and dug and dug some more under this truck so maybe Holly says she's ready to go home too so maybe we will get this truck out this time hold on brother man let me get this dog come on Holly come on Holly As you can see, this attempt did not work, and I think now we might be stuck even more. Let's see what Survivor Nate has to think about, say about this. Come help. <laughs> That's all I think. Since my big truck, come help. Well, we've now been at this for several hours now, and having to jack up the truck and move it back over. This is the worst surviving expedition ever. But now we're gonna check down here with Survivor Nate and see what he's doing up under this truck. Let you folks see how it's done. <coughs> well, as you can see, 
We've been jacking on this truck, moving it over, jacking on it, moving it over for about three hours now. It's slow, hard work. Instead of doing Survivor Man movies, we're going to start doing Dirtiest Jobs. Because this sucks. I'm not ready to be on Survivor Man. So you can see here Survivor Man Lucian. He's trying to dig a traditional shelter. And under the truck, so we stay warm. Under the truck, because the engine was running and it was warm. So we're going to try to get under there and try to stay warm for the night. Here we sit. Looks like we're going to have to spend another night in the jungle again. I've heard all kind of critters making god awful noises out there. Something crawled up on us, but. We heard it crashing through the bushes. We were afraid it was a wild boar or a giant lynx, maybe a pack of coyotes even, and I blew my survival whistle, and I think that scared it off for now, but hopefully it won't come back. Well, it's getting late, and we're still out here in the wild. It's going to be cold tonight, too. I heard it's going to get down the low 20s so we need to get our fire started get ready for the cold night it's gonna be a long night well we've done all we could do here we sit by our fire waiting on help to come I don't know if it will. I think we're about to have to start hiking through the wilderness here. Wild boars are abundant in this area. I do kind of fear for my life. Hopefully we'll make it out alive. Well, as you can see, here we are, stranded. It's getting very cold tonight, so we went ahead and started building a campfire. We've heard lots of animals in the woods. Coyotes, boars, deer. So right now, we are hunkering down around our campfire, trying to stay warm. And soon we may have to go trek through the woods. Looking for food because neither of us has eaten in a while and we're both hungry. So maybe we can spook up a rabbit. Survivor Nan Nate stands calmly and silently after a long day of trying to get the truck out, surviving in the wild. I don't think he has much to say because he knows Alan's going to be super pissed. So we're waiting on our rescue party to come. Here we stand at fire number two. Three. Fire number three, oh yeah. <laughs>